<laughs> hey, look who's on TV. That's a setup. It says push. Good morning. Good morning, how you doing? What's going on? All right. Ruben. Donnie. Nice Donnie, you okay with rolling? Yeah, no. Let's, hey, look, look who's oh. on TV. <laughs> I'm like, me. that's a setup. Nah. There's a bucket, there's a there's a basket with some lotion on it and a pit somewhere. Oh. <laughs> Everybody, what is going on? I am on the west end here, and I'm out here with at Bait Daddy with Donnie. Bait Daddies, uh, 17630 Termini San Luis Pass Road. Um, we have been open, officially reopened since last weekend. Um, initially, we bought this place. This was the old West Bay Bait and Tackle. Uh, Jerry and Becky owned it for 30 plus years. Um, they moved on, uh, sold it, and we bought it last year, August 24th. It's my son's birthday. <laughs> So we bought it and then we opened September and November, I mean, I'm sorry, December 17th, uh, we had an electrical fire, a whole building burned down. No way. Yep. So wow. up until literally last weekend, we've been uh, insurance city, we've been rebuilding. So rebuilding. last week, and that's why I mentioned it's yeah. new. It's everything except yeah. the, the pier and beams is, is brand yeah, new. Yeah, it smells brand new. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we blew out some walls, expanded it. Um, we, still, we still have inventory coming in um, yeah. that we've ordered, you know. Yeah, still so, putting it together. We're still putting it together. We don't have our parking lot lights installed yet, yeah. or, or our downstairs lights where our bait tanks are. We don't have those installed yet. Um, we were just happy to be able to get open. Open the doors again. <laughs> so we figure all the other stuff will kind of we'll, we'll get it. You know. Yeah, especially at the while. end of the season. You know. That, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. We, hit, we miss in the season, but we are uh, seven days a week um, unless it's a, a major storm or a major holiday. Even a major holiday, I'll probably open. Yeah. Uh, we'll open up, so we're not like a winter time thing. We're all we're always open and. It's me and my wife and my three kids, my three boys, and we, we kind of run it. It's a family-owned business, yep. family-owned, family-run. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, my mother-in-law awesome. works here, my mother works here, my sister works here. So oh, really? It's truly all yeah. my family. Yeah, you know, so. that's awesome. Yeah. Skipjack, small one, ladyfish, hi lady, y'all don't act very ladylike though, I must say, alright so I found the ladyfish, need to find, I almost said gap top, need to find the specklers, where are we at, 6.55, sun ain't even up yet, think sun's up at like 7.05 or something like that, Maybe this would be an after sunrise bite. Last few times it's been like in the dark, we're hitting them, you know? I don't know what that is. It keeps jumping out of the water. But I think it's a trout. That, oh no, that's a big old fat lady fish. Look how big that lady fish is. That's why I thought it was a trout because how how big it was. Look at that. Look at that lady fish. <laughs> it's a big old big one. No. Oh. <laughs> she just decided she's gonna wreck everything on the way out. <laughs> Big lady fish, this one is. Oh, there she go. She scared somebody else. Somebody else jumped out of the water. I can't. Is there some big ones out here? There's some. Oh, look at that one. That's nice. Choked it. That's nice. That's a big old lady. Yep, another ladyfish. Just hadn't jumped yet. I'm a lady magnet. I get all the ladies. Look at that. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. 
Oh, he's on. Oh, he's not on. What a wimp. Needlefish. So what time is it? It is... It is 8.40, and I think we got this shrimp probably about three hours ago. And um, Carl brought up a very good point, is that how lively these shrimp are. I mean, you know, I had them under the aerator, and now they've been floating around in, in a small, undersized bucket, kind of crowded in there, and they're still lively, they're still firm, they're, you know, it, like 98% of them are alive still. I think I only had like one or two that was dead at this point in the morning, three hours into fishing. You know, didn't any, add any oxygen to it, no chemicals, didn't add anything to it. It's just in the bucket. I'm pleased with them. You pleased with them, Carl? You pleased with the shrimp? Great, man. Live, good looking, jumpy, and it's all good, man. Yep. They're still, they're still doing everything you want them to do, except for these uh, ladyfish. These ladyfish gotta go. Pompano? I think it's a pompano. You wanna you wanna land that one? Yeah, it's a pompano. He's a, he's a swim away when he sees me. Lift it up, lift it up. Oh, this is such good eating right here. Oh, that's such good eating right there. Oh, the skin almost looks like a pear. You can keep it. You can keep any size. We just baked it last time, but it's such good eating. There we go. Nice, awesome. Did they get me? <laughs> they're ch they're chasing. Look, look, watch this. J this is just the hook. I bet I'm gonna catch a fish just on the hook. I told you, that's just the hook. That's just the hook. The lady fish are just biting on hooks. Look, that's just the hook. They just hit that shiny hook. Look, see, it's just, that's all it is, right? Just a kale hook, just a hook. Can you catch fish with a, just a hook? I can. <laughs> just a hook. I'm gonna catch a fish with just a hook on the court. Just a hook. There we go. Just a hook. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Just a hook. He's still on. I thought he jumped off. There he goes. Just a hook. <laughs> you can keep your spoon, Cody Dunn. I got a kill hook. There you go, just a hook, another one. Three for three cast, three fish, just a hook. Oh, <laughs> Who needs bait, huh? Well, I catch bait out here. I catch bait fish with just a hook. There he goes, he gone. Let's see if we get four for four. There we go. Four for four. <laughs> we are never going to catch specks today, I don't think. Because even if there was specks here, there's so many ladyfish yeah. that um, they're just overwhelming the bite. Yeah, so I'm not too sure what's going on with the bite. You can see, I mean, it's not even nine o'clock yet. And, you know, everybody's kind of packing up. A lot of people have left down, down the shore. You know, the surf is, is super flat. The swells are perfect. I mean, just perfect. You need not a lot of swells. Uh, the water clarity, I mean, you can see my feet and I'm like past my waist. Bait is awesome. The sun is doing what it's supposed to be doing, but just played with ladyfish. You know, we are just ladyfish, ladyfish, ladyfish everywhere. And you know, just never know what the fish, what the fish is gonna bring, what the fish are gonna do. You know, the fish can either be way down there. They can be. I don't think they're down there because all those guys have left. They can be way out there. 
you know just don't know all you can do is come out and try oh oh that's a big one dude this is such good shark bait I should have brought one of my big rods with the rod holder and just waited for a big shark today. All the single ladies. Oh, there. Oh, a pompano. Is that a pompano? Yeah. I never seen one jump like that out of the water. I think, think, uh, think Carl got another pompon. Pompa yes, Pompa no, Pompa yes. Oh, there he goes. Oh, dang. I never seen him jump before. Oh, no. Did you break off? No. No, pulled. Damn. Dang it. Cool that he fell off. Shit. Pompa no, let's see. I hadn't, hadn't jumped yet. Maybe get another one come through. That kind of sound like a speck. No, no, it's a Pompa no. Keep going. Oh, no, it's a ladyfish. Uh -oh. Dang it, Cut. lady! <laughs> she well, she's holding down. Do you think there's male ladyfish? <laughs> <laughs> Will those be transgender la transgender fish? If it's a male ladyfish, does that be a tran tran tranny fish? I don't know. I gotta ask some marine biologists. Oh, there it goes. It's getting ready to go airborne. Dang! Like a shark. Is that a shark? Maybe. It's kind of pulling like it is. Yeah. It's kind of circling you. Don, on, 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 on. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of acting sharkish. We'll see. Might just be a big lady that had air, air run, went, went up yet. They've been kind of wacko today. Still can't see. I can't see because of glare. Yeah. Can you see it? Nope, it's a pompano. Yeah, it's a pompano. You gonna get it? I'll come try okay. To one of us. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can bring it through. <sighs> Trying to move these, all this stuff in my way. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, you gotta get another crank on that reel. Okay. Don't let it go slack. Don't let it go slack. Yeah, just keep your hand on the reel. We'll get it. Got him! <laughs> nice. That's a big one, man. Oh. Yeah! Pompano Master! Can I get a shrimp out of your bait bucket? Hell yeah. No, I'm just joking. Because oh. <laughs> I'm just saying, because your shrimps are working. <laughs> they, he must have did something different with your shrimp. He put that little Pompano juice. Oh, I got a fish. You do? Oh. No, it's a, uh, yeah, I think I do. Here, just hold my net for a second. There you go. Awesome, Carl! That's what I'm talking about. No? Pompano? Yeah. Another Pompano? Uh oh. Yeah, the up. I'm trying to put my hat back on. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to catch it at the air. Yeah, man, how you catch your pompano on the spoon? Look at it. Came off too. Oh, that's a flounder. That's a flounder. Yes, 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 yes. Bring it in. Bring it in. That's a flatty. Dude, on a spoon. That's awesome. That's a new species for you. Flatty on the spoon. Net him. He's a little guy. You got him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at that. Look at the teeth. Flatty on the spoon. Cast Master. OG style. All right.
well, you know, guys, that is gonna do it for us. You know, I I had a I had a really good time out there. I know I wasn't really getting into that many great fish, but you know, that's this this time of the year. You know, we're starting to get that transition. And Carlo had a hot hand. I think he lost two Pompano and ended up landing three. And and um, it was just a Carlo show. We we got some excellent bait from Bait Daddies. So check them out there over there down there on the west end if you are headed down to the west end or maybe you're on your way to San Luis Pass or even over the tow bridge and a fish in Freeport. You know what? Coming from Galveston, that is a great place to stop and check them out. They are open seven days a week down there. Thanks again, Donnie, for supplying the bait for us on that trip. Really appreciate it. But you know, a couple of things happened. Now, this trip took place before the hurricane, before we had any kind of strong currents or strong waves. And we had quite a few days, um, I think almost a, over a week, of very clean water conditions, very flat water conditions. And what that does is that really drowns out a lot of the oxygen level in the water. But... Also, during this time of year, we're starting to see that transition into the summer, the beginning of fall in Texas, and, you know, I mean, just anywhere on the, on the coastal waters, we start getting that transition where a lot of the big trout are leaving the surf, going into the passes and the bays, and you're going to start seeing big, big trout in the bays, in the passes, and they start entering some of the marshy area, and that's when we're going to get after them. I mean, just the transition time. You know, this past week we've had bull reds just running all over the place, running in the surf, cat people hooking up, catching them off the pier. I think a gentleman told me they caught like four yesterday. They're going back today, yesterday, last night. They're just tearing up all the bull reds in off Texas City Dyke. I mean, it's just, it's just that time, that transition time. We're starting to see a lot of the flounder wake up, kind of where they've been kind of laying rest. Uh, and now they're waking up, starting to feed a little bit. We're starting to get cold fronts, so we start, you know, getting that flounder push. So the channel is in a transition a little bit with the with the fish, and we're gonna start going after some nice trout, some big reds, and some of those flatties. So thanks for watching. Don't forget if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please go ahead and do so. Don't forget you can also check out Waterlands. I have a 15% off discount code click on the link in the description section check them out today and until next time hopefully you catch me hook it up